1.629 400 yen which results in a score of roughly 30 mil new week new arena and of course new arena guy this time we have an earth aoe arena so bring out all your physical aoe units for earth element that you have and he also has a resistance towards magical units so physical is the way to go for this guide um i already have the team that i'm going to use here but i want to show you something really interesting because i thought i should mention it at least once um back then in jp we had a guy called Dito who made beautiful images graphs for each arena where we could track different stuff like the different rankings of each of the members in the discord and what units people use stuff like that it was really really cool sadly he quit the game and stopped at one point making those so we are getting near the end of the images that we have from the JP version. Of course, we still have K on Twitter who records like the top 50 of each arena and uploads them to Twitter or X. So you could also just check there to see the top teams. But I want to show the image here off just to give you a few ideas of different teams that you can run. And as you can clearly see, this arena, we use Accelerate in JP version and we don't have them in a global version. so. Of course, all the teams and ideas with him fall off here, which is a real big shame because his ulti actually gives CDR. And I feel like team building wise, having CDR here is so, so hard. Like, let's just take a look at the popular subs. We have Chris who doesn't have um, CDR. We have Melissa who doesn't have CDR. We have Darkness who has CDR, which I certainly don't have. We have Leah who has CDR through ulti, which I certainly don't have. We have a Rainier who's mostly just there for the team trade for people who don't have darkness. We have Lolisa who doesn't have CDR. We have the new Onsen Iris, which of course can work really well, who doesn't have CDR. We have then Aqua who has CDR on a skill and we have Forbidden Wiz. So out of all of those units, I pretty much have one unit that has CDR, which is Aqua. Why I went with her in the main three team slots, because let's be real here, without CDR, its team is just bad. So that's my choice here. Um, for speed boost units, we have Chris here. We have Leah with her ulti 1 version 2, which is not that recommended. And we have Lolisa. Both of them can also be a buffer of your team. So either of those will work. Chris, of course, will outperform Lolisa here because she also has the earth damage boost. And also keep in mind that um, Chris has an AoE skill and a multi-hit. Meanwhile, Lolisa has a single target and a multi-hit. So Chris's damage in an AOE arena will just be better. And this is the unit to choose from here. The third unit should be your Rash Red unit, which pretty much comes down to, do you have Leah? If yes, you can use Leah's Rash Red on the main unit and just focus on him and appreciate bonus damage your AOE stuff can do. Or you can go with Ansem Melissa, which is what I did, since I also don't have the Leah, who has AOE Rash Red and sadly not anything else let's be real here Leah, um, melissa's ultis at least for my team are kind of meh we don't need the healing from her ulti 2 we don't need the physical defense down from her ulti 1 because aqua does that with her ulti um so pretty much everything melissa can do aqua covers but on an aoe side so i just use it since it's the highest damage number i mean Technically speaking, um, her ulti 1 version 2 would be a little bit higher damage, but um, I don't think the enemy is weak to poison, at least it wasn't mentioned, so... While the bonus damage would be nice, I think having an extended defense down could just be better here, which is why I went with her ulti 1. And of course, um, normally slot 4 and 5 will never come in, but I want to show them off here real quick as well. Slot 4 is just Lisa because she's the next best physical earth unit that I have. Um, but never comes out, but again, you could use her instead of Chris, or if a unit ever gets critted down and Chris would die, Elisa can come in, and then when you're slot 5, mostly just for the party trade. Assist-wise, Ares assist as always, and good thing I checked here, <laughs> good thing I actually checked here, wow. Uh, we of course want to use the Earth scroll, not the Wind scroll here, to increase the Earth damage. That could explain why my Chris damage was so low and didn't clear the wave. <laughs> Oh, that, that was a that was a my V. But yeah, um that is my team. Again, for 
other referential teams, just look at the shards and think who you could replace with for Accelerator. Mostly just use the slot 4 unit instead of Accelerator, I think is fine enough. Or one of those, for example, in the first team, if you don't have Accelerator and you use the Chris, Iris would be a great fit here for the echo damage and AoE stuff. Can work. Um, you can also use um, Darkness here for CDR, buffing stuff like that works great. Second team, if you don't have Leah, we use Chris and uh, Melissa. And the third unit could just be Aqua, which is pretty much what I'm using. Or Darkness again. Um, third team without Chris, you use uh, Leah, Melissa for the speed boost unit, and then Accelerator. I think Darkness here would also work great. Aqua could work great here. I don't think Melissa would be my go-to option. Uh, Iris could also work. And for the team without Accelerator, I mean, he's literally out of the equation there. By the way, it's funny how it's a little bugged in the slot 4, you can still see Accelerator. Um, <laughs> but still, uh, that's just mostly AoE damage team of Leah, um, Iris and Chris. So yeah, um, that's all you should know, hopefully. Um, again, if this team building stuff helps you out and you want to see that for every arena, maybe just leave a subscribe on the channel and double check if you actually ring the bell to see all the new videos. If you miss a unit or have any question with like, hey, I don't have these units, what team could you recommend? Write it down in the comments and I'll gladly try to answer or just tune in to my next live stream and I will try to answer the questions there. Um, but of course, otherwise, you can also just ask in the com um, comments or in the Discord because I have a lovely community who really likes to help you. So either of those options should work and you will hopefully see a comment from either me or one of my community members soon and will help you out. With that out of the way, let's finally get into the arena run. <laughs> Real teams use one star dust. True, true. The true giga chat of one star dust. Also, hi, Fernando. Yeah, we use Aeros Assist here just to get the skill in. Sadly, both units can survive with slim more FHP here, which is totally fine. We are just going to use two basics here. And the exact same thing is going to happen with the second wave. We're switching over. We're using the gauge up here from Aqua. We actually got a crit here, so. Melissa does need to basic, which can be fine here. Just going to use Rash Red here. Wait a bit. And use my skills. I'm waiting for a full here. We just extend the buff as long as possible. Aqua basic and hopes we can proc something. And here we actually wait for the Rush Red to come off before we use the speed boost. Another basic. Solo Aqua Fame proc, Satch. Then we give us Chris ulti. Good, good, good. I'm going to use the CR here first. We're actually going to let Chris overflow here a bit because we want to use double skills. We go. Dang 
There we go, Dark Knock Proc. Okay. Let's pray Chris gets hit you once. Nice. Mm. Aqua proc right before his skills. That's really good timing. Thank you, Aqua. And use Ares assist here to use the speed boost skill ASAP. Our seconds should be fine enough. Damage wise. Good, good, good. and another AOE skill at the end and there we go 1.629 400 at the end which results in a score of roughly 30 mil I think again it's not the best score and with the most optimal team you should be able to get to like 2.25 mil damage and even more so uh, expect the rank ones to be way higher than that but of course if you don't have the top teams for the arena you need to sack it and i still think this should be good enough to 100 guarantee top 1k and with a little bit of luck might just be even top 100 hopefully we'll see we'll see but um yeah that's pretty much the idea behind this team and the strategy of course, stuff can change um, with the timings. Maybe use the Melissa Rashford skill a little bit later there. So you can guarantee um, that both Chris skills get used with Rashford. Maybe make the stuff uh, time a little bit better. Wait with the next Rashford skill a bit or something like that. Try about around a bit. See what works best for you. Again, this is 100% not the most optimal strat. There are stuff to improve in this team, but... You know, that's a day one run. I want to get this video out ASAP. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye.